five. Hey guys, four, this is John, and I'm playing three, the hourly bullet arena two, on vchess.org. We have 32 zero. players, and we're about to start uh, several 22 to 2300s, and I'm playing Lely 1 2 3 in the first game. Never played this player. New face on Lee Chess. We have a QGD. We've got some standard stuff going on. I'll play bishop h4, just drop the bishop back. Maybe knight f4 in the future. We'll see. Okay, so they're forcing the issue as far as these bishops go. Uh, let's play a4 just to stop b5. I might play knight up to f4 soon. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, though, first is I'm going to drop this bishop back. And then let's do this. Okay, let's take here. I'm going to try to maintain this bishop and see if we can create some problems for them on that diagonal. Okay, so let's come here. And then maybe go for e4. I'm thinking this might be a decent plan. Well, now that they played b4, I guess I'll move away from that plan a bit. Uh, let's come here. Knight h5 looks pretty good. It's a little bit awkward, though. I want to go knight f6 and try to swap. This is this knight is a beast on e4, though, so i got to be cautious about that. Uh, let's go here and then push for h4. Ah, I just blundered. Knight takes g3. They didn't see it, though. Um, hmm. Okay, let's play rook f2. I'm just going to try to double. Let's do this. Hmm, not quite sure how to play this. I'm going to try some breakthrough idea. Let's see if we can take. Let's go here. Maybe they can play knight takes g3 now. And attack my rook and my bishop. Uh, let's bring this back. Gotta hurry. Ooh, I'm going to get mated on the file. Yeah, rook h8. He didn't notice it. I might steal this one with any luck, even though I am a little bit slow right now. Oh. Get something going towards our king. Oh, I just barely won that. Wow. 0 0.2 to 0. All right, mental note, handle that player with care. That was that was a close one. All right, I'm berserking. I'm going to try to capitalize on that stroke of luck in that previous game. So let's play for d5. Wow, very close game. All right, I'm okay with that trade. We have the bishop pair now. Let's do this. Yeah, let's play h3. Let's drop this back and keep the bishop. Knight b4 could now be a threat. Let's do knight b4. And I'm going to take on d3 next move. Unless he does that, then I can take here. So I win a piece. Or he can take b4, but I take his rook. Okay, so let's do that, and then drop this bishop back. So we want a piece out of all that. Take. Queen f5, maybe. Bishop f4, I can see being a move. All right, so probably a queen trade's happening. Let's play e6 next move. Get these pawns rolling. b4 maybe. He's going to bring his rook over to g3, but f4 is hanging. I can go after that pawn soon. Let's occupy this open file. Let's get this over. He's going to try defending it with everything he's got, but I'm going to win that c3 pawn because bishop a3 is coming, and he can't hold that point. So this gets traded. And then we'll get to do this. And then we'll come here and take this pawn with check. This is a lot for him to deal with. Too much, really. So let's just bring these pawns up. Oh boy. I gotta make sure I don't stalemate him, though. Okay, he had h6, but that was a little bit of a close call. Okay, um, we have five points along with several other people. Raiken 2, not going to berserk, just going to play g6 and chill. Playing the Jinji Indian, one of our favorites on this channel. Everyone knows about e4. They know about the strength of this move. So attack the bishop, and then we'll go here attacking this pawn. 
seems like the savvy players just kind of let that pawn get captured. Um, all right, let's do this the standard way. We'll bring the knight to b6. Pressure that c4 pawn. And hopefully castle queen side if allowed. Yeah, now a knight move would be decent, but he's going to allow our king to sneak away. I like that. This is a standard move, queen a4. He should probably respond with queen b3. Because if a queen trade happens, this is excellent for black. Yeah, like now I win the c4 pawn, and this is black's ideal situation in the Jinji Indian. Um, I guess I'll just take it. It's fine. Then we'll come here. So he's got the two bishops, but we're up a pawn, up a pawn and um, this is looking good otherwise. Let's go here. Just a little bit worried about b7. Now I get to do this move. Probably should continue with a5, actually. Uh, let's just take that. So we're grabbing all these pawns. Bishop c2. I'm going to keep going forward like this. This is a little annoying, though. Let's come here and attack that bishop again. Um, I kind of did this to myself. I don't like what I just did there. Try to boot that bishop off of its current post. Let's do this. He can take a7. Like I said, I created some issues for myself that I didn't have to. Okay, now we're in control again. Getting those those two bishops off the board was helpful because he was able to make some threats around my king by doing this. Okay. Yeah, now we're of course winning. Okay, back to tournament. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. I have no big plans this weekend. Probably going to record a little bit. Mm. Actually, I have a dual commentary match with Grandmaster Nikolaus Huschenbet. Nikolaus Huschenbet uh, scheduled. So he's a German Grandmaster. He's probably about 25, 50 feet A. And that is scheduled for uh, this Saturday at 12 o'clock PM Central. So I'm going to be live streaming that event. I will probably put a little announcement out there. So please, if you're able to, show up and support and watch the live stream. It should be a lot of fun. He's a very strong grandmaster. And we're going to play on chess 24. And it'll be a blitz match. Time control of, I believe we agreed on 4 plus 1 is the time control. 4 minutes with a 1 second increment. A little unusual, but uh, he, he seems to like that time control. He specifically requested it. I allowed knight d3 when... I didn't have to. That was pretty foolish of me. <laughs> so I'm just going to go down and exchange now against Cobble, whatever his name is. Okay, let's play Rook B1. Yeah, this is not good at all. Let's give it a check. We'll come here and hopefully set up something on E4. Okay, so he sort of bypassed my pawn there. I'm hoping I have some compensation, but I'm really not optimistic. Let's do this. He wants to take. He defends that B pawn. Interesting. Okay, let's bring this back. And let's bring this up. Okay, now I feel like I'm getting some play. I know he's going to send his knight into e5, but maybe we have something going. Let's hide our king first of all. We'll go here. Okay, knight e6. Now he's got to watch himself a little bit because I'm attacking f8. This is a fork. He can play queen b6, but. I'm not going to allow that mate threat to hurt us. Um, let's take and then just trade the queens. I think this is the best, most responsible thing to do. And let's trap his rook there if I can play fast enough. Okay, take that for sure. Okay, well, we worked our way to, out of a little bit of a situation right there. We're down the exchange. So let's take a look at these standings. So Fedor 50 and Goez, both having good tournaments. Goez dropped the first game, but still has 17 points. I'm trailing with 13. Bolkovich, G6 again. This is becoming my mainstay. Okay, let's play Knight F6. We'll just take this into like a Pierce, and he dropped this pawn. Let's play D5, just defend the Knight and attack the Bishop. Uh, drop this back. So up a clear pawn. I'll play c5 next, because if he takes it, I'm going to get e5 in, so I really like the look of that. Uh, now we get e5, e4. 
and we're going to fork the, the queen and the bishop because we're playing this move with tempo. Crucial. I guess he's going to try for some sort of knight c7 idea, but I doubt that this is anything to be worried about. Um, let's actually do this. So if he takes our queen, I'm going to take on g3. And I think that knight is going to get trapped. This is kind of what I was hoping for in this line. Like now I can go after this. Is the idea. So he just gives that up. Okay, now we can bring this knight in. Maybe knight a4 and hit these pawns. Looks like a good plan. He has to play rook b1 if he wants to defend that. But then I've got stuff like d4 coming, and I question the soundness of his position. Now he's just dropping everything. Yeah, we got our bishops coordinated. This d-pawn is a monster now. Too much. It's rolling right on through. Get a queen. Hopefully he doesn't make us play this out. Okay, so we get that win. And just like that, I'm in first place along with Goez. But he just lost a game, so he's not doubling anymore. Kaboom says, hey, Fins, it's JD Drew. How's it going, JD Drew? Scandy time. Yeah, Team Scandy, I am that I am. All right, Sack of Sasquatch. Do we berserk this game? Let's do it. We're going berserk town. Population, Sack of Sasquatch. Let's not drop that bishop. Let's see if he takes, nope. Let's take this guy actually, and then play bishop here. I want to get something going down this long diagonal leading towards this king. This looks pretty dangerous. I'm attacking e3 as well. Now we win a piece. So get ready with bishop takes f4. I'm hitting the rook as well. Now we do this. Okay, so we're winning a ton of material. And he resigned. Okay, so got that berserk win. A little bit of a risk, but I just noticed how many people had kind of a score uh, within striking distance of us. So I want to put some distance between me and the rest of the field. Because these tournaments, it's just, it's you versus everyone else. You know, you got to do everything you can to try to create that separation if you want to win these tournaments. This player, I'm not going to berserk. I've already kind of made some progress there with that last one. And this is a pretty good player, so I don't think it's smart to berserk them. Let's do this, though, and stop them from playing b5. Probably they'll play rook b8 and still go for it, but... I can actually, I'm going to transfer my knight to c4 and see how that pans out, because this is a common maneuver that you'll see, and it works out pretty well. Like, sometimes I can get my knight in here, even. Um, let's play, hmm, let's actually play knight c6. We'll just do this anyways, because a6 becomes incredibly weak by virtue of doing this. Yeah, see, now we get to take this pawn. Maybe he can play rook b6, though, and annoyingly defend. I'm going to try to play to open the position still. Okay, so take. Let's go here. I'm going to give him the c3 pawn. And just pretend like it doesn't matter, which it might not. Uh, let's go here. Doesn't do much for me. I shouldn't have played that last move. Yeah, because now I got to... He's going to take c6. Hmm. Really got to get out of this pin. Now he can trade down a little bit, though. Let's come here. Hopefully he plays d4 and hangs his queen, but <laughs> I don't foresee that happening. Okay, let's come here. My king is kind of in some danger. Ooh, he just dropped this. Bad news for him. Okay, now I feel like we can win this. Also, his pawns are stalled, if you noticed. Let's do this, first of all. Uh, let's make sure that bishop h6 doesn't ever really hurt us too bad. I want to get bishop c4 in. This is a nice move, because now I'm attacking this. And he doesn't have a good way to defend it either, does he? Yeah, this just drops his queen. Yeah, this is over. Mate. Okay, so we got fortunate there. He gave up a piece. Hmm. We want Danny to see his butt kicked by Finns. Yeah, if you haven't checked out the newest chess rivals, go do that. I won't give anything away. All right, too bad is the next opponent. I'm playing d4 as usual. Let's play a Samish. e5. We like this endgame. You guys know I love this endgame. 
This, whoa, what's happening with my time? I was lagging there. You see that? I lost a bunch of time. Okay, let's try to make up for it. Yeah, I am a big fan of this endgame. Rook d6 is usually played, now rook c1. Uh, let's play bishop back here. And then we'll go knight here and go take that bishop. Usually slightly favorable for white to do this. Uh, he, has, he has this, though. That's a bit annoying. Okay, I'm going to do this. I know he can check on d3, but we'll see how this turns out. All right, well, actually, that turned out pretty well for us, all things considered. Now I can get my rook in here, here, especially on that square, attacking f7. Uh, let's do this. Maybe I should have sent my king to the queen side. Yeah, this would be better. Change of plans. We're going to go for b4. Set our pawns up like this. Okay, take. Uh, let's do this. I'll, I really want to win that pawn. Let's just remind him that that's a weakness. And then we'll come over here. I'm playing for the win. Okay, take. Still want to kind of set up threats against f7 if possible. You can win f3, not sure that matters so much. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. This is a little weird. I'm really not sure I'm playing this correctly either. Well, I'm almost certain I'm not playing this correctly. Yeah, now I can win that. Okay, let's take that. Ooh, wondered that. All right, so we win that game. I'm getting the best of it in the time scrambles in this tournament, so that's what's really been helping me out here. And Kopschfelter is in second place with 28 points. Thank you, Virginia. Loves the videos. Looks like we're headed for a showdown with this player, 22-19. Goez has gone off the rails. They lost three in a row. All right, Mobber, we got a pre-move and berserk this game. He's playing a very solid setup. It's annoying when they play that solid. Looks like he's going for a uh, stonewall formation. And I'm going to play e5 and just crack this right open. Offer trades and a bid to open the position. Uh, let's take this way. And then let's play here and attack e3. Try to get at that weak point. Let's see if they want to swap. Okay, so I've got the two bishops. Also, e3 is still weak. I can take that pawn, but I won't for now. Let's just trade. I'm going to bring this rook over and further attack. Uh, let's take here, because then I can get rook e2 in. And I feel like there's some very bad stuff coming towards their king, like this. He has queen g3, though. Queen g3 would defend. He needs to find that move, otherwise he's going to get hurt. Because pawn g3, I'm coming into h3. Yeah, and they didn't see it. So Mobber did not avoid getting mobbed around his king. <laughs> Chesty Lady says, shout out to Finns. Hello to you. Ooh, Budapest Gambit. I'm going to decline that. And then play knight g5. All right, bishop d2. This is probably reasonable. Let's play e3. My knight's kind of hanging out here on g5. It's going to get forced back, but that's all right. Okay, we'll take here and hmm, let's play this so we can attack d5 a little bit better. Let's go here again, attack d5. Okay, so let's take and then play bishop e2. Somehow this ended up looking like fairly normal, I'd say. Uh, let's play rook c1, angle for control of that c file. Let's come here. I want to get knight c5 in, so they put a stop to that. Let's go queen b3, just more pressure on this pawn. This knight's not doing anything on a4, so I'm going to reroute it. Hmm. I feel like this might give us some small advantage, so let's play that way. Because now I'm kind of thinking I might be able to take control of the file. 
the only open file in the position. The trouble is, how do I do this now? I got my bishop on the right square, the square that I want, but okay, so this is how we're going to do it. Ah, knight g4, I got to watch out for that move. That would threaten mate, so let's do this just to rule out knight g4. And then we're going to try to use that file to the maximum. I think they might have had an opportunity to play, yeah, a move like that. Oh boy. Okay, f3. <laughs> I gotta take care here. Hmm, let's bring this back. Just not too confident about that position anymore. Um, let's play bishop e2. Then do this. h5. Probably should take it. No, they don't. Well, I think I've got everything defended for now. Okay, let's do this. We're after that pawn. All right, so got the win. Katusha, the win against Katusha. And Chesty Lady, hello. I'm not going to berserk you because you're 1820. That's kind of close. It's right on the edge. Let's go for a double fianchetto. Plus, I've got that lead, and the player in second place is not on a streak, so I think Berserking would be unwise. Let's stick with the pawn. Hmm. So now that d4 square is weak, I'd like to angle in for that square. I'm attacking e4 as well. Hard for them to defend. We can go take that. Let's take with the bishop just to gain the tempo. On the queen? And I might play queen b7. Try to get that queen on the long diagonal so that this knight is kind of nailed. Otherwise, they might lose g2. Uh, let's play h6, just see if they want to swap. Nope, they come back. Okay, so maybe now we take the file. Mm, take care now. We're going to win a pawn out of that. So two pawns to the good. White does have the bishop pair, but everything else is trending in our favor. Not sure about that last move of mine. Maybe it wasn't so good. Okay, let's take here. We'll bring this knight in. Hmm. Let's do this now. F2. Go after F2. Come here. They'd like to take E4 and kind of eliminate uh, one of the defenders of my knight, my only defender of my knight. But if they take it, I always take with check, so that's the issue they have. Let's come here and maybe put the knight on F3. Yeah, that's not going to turn out well for them. Because now this bishop's trapped. Okie doke. Let's just come here, attack this. Not much to be done for white. Let's give a check here. Yeah, and we're going to get the win. Okay, back to tournament. Uh, less than three minutes remaining, and I have 43 points. It's going well. S. Daniel says, bullet with a trackpad is brutal. <laughs> yeah, that's that's hard to... I would never play on a trackpad. I actually know a Grandmaster who plays on ICC, and he types his moves. No joke. Like I've watched him do it before. It's incredible. He types his moves in. Because ICC is a site that allows you to do that. Okay, Bishop G4. It's one of the coolest things I've seen. Just the dexterity involved in having to type your games in a bullet game. Type your moves in a bullet game is just incredible. Okay, so let's do this and look for a trade. So now I can launch perhaps a minority attack. By doing this, let's take knight c6 he might have had there. Okay, so since he's allowing us, let's do this. Then go attack that rook. Let's play here, so if queen g4, I can drop my bishop all the way back to f8. Let's come here. So now it's probably going to be a race to get on the c file, like we're demonstrating. I can go a5, though, and this is not so good for him. If b5, I will play a4 to make sure that he can't put this pawn up on a4 to assist in the defense. Hmm. Now he's a little bit stuck. But I might be too, because my queen is blockading that pawn. I have to take some care about that pawn, for sure. 
Okay, so he's just dropping this pawn. That's not good for him. I can just drop this back and then push the pawn to a3. I actually could have taken on b5 on the previous move. Um, go here. If he takes it, I have rook b1 check. Winning his queen. So let's do this. Alright, let's get this traded off. Let's protect our king first. Because I can always get behind this pawn. Well, now I'll do this and... Pretty sure we're going to be promoting in a second. Yeah, he's got to play for some sort of mate, but I mean, there's nothing to be had here. Queen h1 is coming. Okay, that was a nice technical game. And 47 points. Yeah, cozy. Guess Greg never joined. I sent out a tweet. I said, Greg, now's your chance. He's been saying that he wants to play me in bullet. And uh, I tweeted him the link. Said get in here, but he said he was gone. He said he wasn't at home. He's probably in a Hearthstone game or something, though. I don't. I don't believe that he was actually out of his house. <laughs> All right, so we win the tournament. Uh, been a while since I had a perfect tournament, so nice to get this perfect one. Didn't berserk that well. Fourth of our games, I, I guess I berserked. So forty-seven points. It was a little bit on the weaker side. Like there weren't any players over. Um, I don't know, 2350 or so, but still 85 players. I'm very happy with that. So thanks to everyone for the games. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another tournament or another video. So see you guys later. Bye.